Hi, I'm Leo Lejeune with Stantec Architecture. I'm the lead architect on the new Centre for Applied Technologies currently under construction behind me. We are one year into a three-year construction cycle to pull off this large 52,000 square metre building, the largest on Nate's campus, largest in Nate's history. I'm proud today to give you a behind-the-scenes tour of the construction site. We'll take a walk around the building and look at the four quadrants in their current stages of construction. So here we are at the corner of 106th Street and 118th Avenue in the northwest corner of the building. Behind me you'll see a five stories of construction which is the first of four quadrants for the building, a very large facility. On the first floor and second floor we have classrooms on this side of the building. Third floor is office space affiliated with the School of J.R. Shaw School of Business. The fourth floor is more student classroom space and the fifth floor is more office space affiliated with the School of Health Sciences. So now we're standing on 103rd Street and we are standing looking in the new east doors down through the five-story main street to the west end of the building. And then on the, my left hand side here is the second quadrant of four quadrants being built. A very large atrium through the middle of the space. This will have glass bridges flying through and connecting the two halves of the building. And if you can imagine, this is actually only half of the length of the main street as it reaches out to 106th Street on the other side. The second quadrant of the building here will have the food court or cafeteria on the main floor. The second floor will be classroom space. Third floor will be studi studios for architectural technology and interior design. Fourth floor will be unassigned office space. And the fifth floor will be office space for the program SSBEM. What's interesting to point out from this angle is that we have the large landscaped quad will be directly south of the building here. If you can use your imaginations where all these sea cans are right now, that will be one beautiful outdoor quad full of trees and a labyrinth of sidewalks and places for students to sit and enjoy the sun. The other thing to point out from up here is that the parkade I'm standing in will be connected via a pedway hanging 15 feet above street level across to the new Center for Applied Technologies tying in at the second floor. The Center for Applied Technologies will be connected via a pedway on its south side. A large pedway will be over the quad where the construction site is now and it will connect into the third eastmost bay of the Information and Communications Technology Building. That's the wing of the building closest to the Spartan Center. Right here where this construction worker is coming up from the basement uh, will be the main front door to the entire building. This is fronting the quad on the south. Here's an excellent point of view to see what will be quad three where the student commons two and a half story volume will be uh, that will contain the student contact center as well as the level two student services uh, specializing in student seating and study areas. Standing here along 106th Street gives us an opportunity to take a look at the fourth and final quadrant that will be built. On the main floor provides the simulation lab for the School of Health Sciences. This state-of-the-art simulation suite will provide an immersive environment for students to learn what they will eventually need when they're out in the workforce in the health sciences fields.